Hi everyone, it's Russell here, the presenter. Um, a couple of weeks ago I shared a video on LinkedIn. It was a 30 second clip of me taking my boring old resume and putting it into Prezi as an interactive version which we call a Presume. Now that's had about a thousand likes and I think just over 60,000 views in just two weeks. So people are clearly very into uh, upgrading uh, and leveling up their own resumes or resumes uh, for job interviews and things like that. So here is exactly how to do it. So the very first thing I would do is make sure that you have a folder on the desktop of your machine and inside that folder you have all of the images that you might want to use in your resume. I'll go through some of mine a bit later on and of course uh, your resume itself. So I'm going to just double click to open my resume which um, is just a really simple Word document very very basic you can see um, on here I've got um, a little summary of myself at the top experience a couple of job positions and then of course education and additional skills so I'm going to leave that open and what I'm also going to do now is just go to the bottom of my screen here bottom of my uh, laptop and open up the Prezi Next desktop application and as soon as you open Prezi Next um, you can see all of your presentations this video by the way is not intended to be a Prezi Next training video so I am assuming that you will understand the basics of how to use Prezi Next but I'm going to click the new presentation button at the very top and you can see there are lots of templates that I can choose from. Now I already have a particular template in mind which I'm going to scroll through and see if I can find and this was actually the same template that I used uh, in the very short video clip I mentioned just a second ago which went out um, to LinkedIn and had so much amazing feedback. So you can see there are tons and tons of different templates for you to use. Uh, if you haven't used Prezi Next yet, I recommend you definitely have a look at Prezi Next. You can um, grab yourself a free license online and start playing around with these templates. But I'm going to use this one here which is called Strategic Planning. The only reason I'm choosing it is because I just really love the font and the colors. I'm actually going to change the background image in just a second. So let's use this template and I'll make this full screen as well. Here we go. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is hit this button in the top left hand corner, background and theme and I'm going to upload a brand new background image and of course I'm going to go into my Presume folder into those images that um, I very quickly showed you a second ago and I'm going to use this image for my background this was uh, a, a photo that was taken by a professional photographer that came into our office so um, yeah, it's really really good quality and I'm going to use that in the background of what we call the Prezi overview so this is uh, the area of the presentation that anyone can come to to then dip into the different areas of content so again even though it says 2017 update and opportunities and goals I'm going to change all of that very quickly so what I'm going to do now is get rid of some stuff there is this logo here that was floating around in the original template I'm going to delete that I'm going to double click on the main title and of course put in my full name there we go and I will position that probably up here in the very top left hand corner of the presentation and then what I'm going to do is just very quickly switch back to my original CV and I'm going to copy this um, little introduction text so I'm just going to right click and copy very simple back to Prezi next I'm going to double click this text box and actually paste that text into here because it's again got that nice font that I really like 
but you can see I just need to now play around with the sizing of that so I'm also going to make this justified to the left bring it down in size and you probably notice I'm not worrying too much about where I'm putting things at the moment I'm really just kind of freestyling around getting everything into um, a, a fairly decent kind of layout so that actually we're losing some of that text there with the plants behind so I'm going to move it over a bit there we go that looks good enough for now I could probably spend hours and hours fine tuning this but I think you get the idea so that looks quite good now what I want to do of course I'm just going to go back to my word document again I'm going to double check what those headings were so we've got experience we've got education and then we've got additional skills so let's put those in so we've got experience let's add that there we go and then into this text box education let's just make sure that's in the center and then we've got additional skills which of course is not going to fit into that circle so I'm just going to make that text box a little bit smaller and do something like that fantastic so I actually don't need this last circle strategy um, yeah so I'm going to delete that for now by the way if you ever do want to bring something back just use um, the standard undo uh, option of control Z when you're working in Prezi um, if you want to copy any of these sections again just select one of them do control C control V and you'll end up with a duplicate of that in case you do want to add a brand new section with lots more information about yourself so I'm going to move some of these little lines down here uh, just because they kind of add quite a nice little design feature there we go and then maybe I will do something like this and if I copy and paste that text again maybe I'll just put my contact details over here so again let's go back to the word document and let's just copy and paste these back to Prezi and paste there we go so that's a nice way of making sure that um, people know exactly how they can reach out to me once they see my fantastic presume um, what I might do just to add a little bit more kind of flavor to this is back in my um, images folder that I showed you earlier I've actually got a series of icons they're called graduation handshake uh, there's medal smartphone and so on you can not actually see the icons themselves because they are all white so that's why they look like just white squares at the moment but what I'm going to do is just drag and drop these um, into my Prezi like so so this would actually be a nice one for my education section so I'm going to drag that down here so that it goes into the what we call the topic cover there we go and then if I go back to that folder um, experience maybe some medals Let's resize that just like we did with the other one and drop that into that circle as well probably make it a bit smaller actually move that text down there we go and then of course additional skills um, maybe this icon for creativity would work so let's move that over here make that much smaller and by the way you um, you don't have to fit things inside the circles that um, are your topic covers you can um, really design these however you want so you could have them slightly coming outside of the circles if you prefer that uh, look and feel it's entirely up to you the whole of Prezi Next is extremely flexible like that so there we go fantastic so very very quickly you can see I've taken the 
basic Prezi template which was I think called um, strategy or, or business strategy something like that and I've created the overview page of my Presume. Now that literally only took me a few minutes to do. Of course I've been using Prezi Next for a number of years now so I do find it very easy to use. Hopefully if you've got the basics down you will also find it just as easy. But for those of you who have never used Prezi Next there are lots of tutorials on the Prezi website. Check those out um, and also check out the Prezi training playlist on our YouTube channel which you may be watching this video through at the moment. So let's add a little bit more detail then. Let's go back to my Word document. So let's add uh, my current experience which is the founder and managing director of the presenter.com. So I'm going to copy this bit of text first of all. Right click copy go back to my Prezi and let's now zoom into the experience section so you can do that by just using the scroll wheel on your mouse or you can click on the thumbnails here on the left hand side of the screen so I'm going to go all the way into experience and I may want to just put in a little heading here maybe add a little bit of text Okay, there we go. And what I'm going to do now is, of course, add that piece of experience into another subsection. So these are what we call um, subtopics inside Prezi, and I can actually move these circles wherever I want as well. Uh, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to uh, work on this particular subtopic. So I'm going to put a title here, which is uh, current so people will know you know this is exactly this is what I'm doing right now and then if I zoom into there I can actually paste in the information that I took from that word document I don't necessarily need to have these ticks on the left hand side I'm not really a, a fan of those so I'm going to get rid of them and I am going to change the heading of course to the presenter then what I'm going to do is go back to my Word document and I can copy all of these bullet points. Now of course I would encourage you to be uh, try and be a little bit more creative than simply just dropping bullet points into your Prezi. Um, there are lots of other videos that we have on our YouTube channel about that so again do go and check those out but for the purpose of this video and just making things nice and quick you can see exactly what I mean here. So I would uh, definitely recommend that you use icons um, for each of these bullet points and try to bring them to life a little bit more just so that you're getting more out of the Prezi software and overall you're making your Presume a lot more kind of visually uh, stimulating and interesting for people, uh, recruiters or um, people in business who may be looking at your Presume online. So try to be a little bit more interesting with that if you can but hopefully you can see how easy that was for me to do. So if I now zoom out we've got our overview page, we can then zoom into experience, we can then zoom into current and we can see what I'm working on right now and of course we can then edit this subtopic to talk about what I've done in the past. I can also add more subtopics if I want to by simply pressing this button down here in the bottom left and we can add more and more. So you might want to list maybe three or four previous jobs that you've done and you can do that very easily by pressing the subtopic button in the bottom left hand corner. So hopefully you can see just how easy that was to do. Again, you will need some uh, Prezi Next experience. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking out our YouTube channel for some tutorial videos there. And also the Prezi website itself as well, which has tons of short clips on how to get started with the software.
Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we have lots more videos like this that we'll be creating throughout the rest of this year. And there's also tons of information on here for you already to sink your teeth into and become a much better presenter.